a whole generation of Indian children is growing up as foreigners in their own country. It's not as if it's only urban kids who are isolated from larger realities. Rural children themselves are pretty isolated, more exposed to urban realities in their textbooks than to their own countryside. What uh, knowledge or sense of vastness and diversity do children in the Hindi belt have about the cultures of those in the South and vice versa? It's a very important addition, not only to the reading diet of children, which is completely bereft of uh, knowledge about rural India, but adds to the spectrum of imagination of young children. Albert Einstein once said, imagination is more powerful than knowledge and with no one more so than with children. So the idea is that these bring in that sense of vastness, diversity, the multiplicity of cultures, languages, tongues, storytelling, fun, imagination, learning. They're not fairy tales. They have authenticity. They're not dreamed up in the heads of someone imagining characters. They're based on everyday life, on everyday people, and, and are the product of what was originally on the spot reporting which enhances their authenticity, that there is no such thing as Indian reality. There are Indian realities in plural and in capitals. And these stories, they explore the realities of those at the lower end of the social spectrum. Mentally, that disconnect between the urban and the rural means that a third of Indians are losing sight of their roots, which are in the other two thirds. The stories in this series, the stories in this series do that for the children. They are very gently acquainting children with very large realities. Karadi is the institution which brought a regional con context to children's literature. Pari lends content to those stories. And for both those reasons of what it does for the children and why rural India is important, this is an excellent kickoff to what I hope will be a much longer collaboration.